Hello everybody and welcome to Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition with Dr. Dortle. So, I recently finished up Subnautica and I've got time now to start playing a new game, so I figured we'd do uh, this one. And uh, if you're not familiar with Dark Souls, it's a fairly challenging action RPG game. I have a pretty decent amount of experience with Dark Souls. Um, I've played all of them. The only one I haven't beaten is Bloodborne and Demon Souls, so I guess that's two actually. But I figured we'd have some fun with this game. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. And uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, thank you for joining me here. And for those of you that have been with the channel for a while, welcome back. So the first thing we have to do is make our character. Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll play as... Hmm. Play as a pretty lady. Uh, we'll go deprived. The only true class. Uh, take the old witch's ring. Physique. Uh, I'll go average, why not? Alright, kind of face. Are we gonna rock here? By the way, sorry if you see a little screen tearing. Um, I'm using Dark Souls Fix uh, to get the game to run at 60 FPS uh, because I just can't play Dark Souls at 30 FPS anymore. So, but it kind of does like create a few bugs in the game, including some graphical errors. So if you do see those, I apologize. But hopefully they won't be too frequent. Um, just gonna mess around in here a little bit. Not gonna do too much. Uh, what kind of hair do you guys like? We gonna go nuts with it? We just gonna go maybe blonde? You wanna go blonde? Let's do that. Do we want to customize this character any? Does that matter? Hmm. We could uh create custom face. I guess like if we haven't fucked with it, it won't really mess it up that bad. I'm not going to get too into this because I'm going to wear like relatively heavy armor anyway, so it's not like it's going to matter that much. Hmm. Let's see if we can't fix the eye color a little bit. It's so dark. Like, Dark Souls is not the kind of game that you need to fuck around in character creator, really. Since, like, you're gonna have your face hidden a lot anyway. But I'm also not entirely sure what build we're going for. So... Let's just do... How's this look? We'll just mess with the settings a little bit to get kind of a different face going on. Alright. This'll work out. We can run with this. What are we going to name her? We're going to name her... I'm like looking around my room desperately trying to think of a... <laughs> something to name this character. Uh, we're going to name her... Goose. This is Goose, the Chosen Undead. I like opened up Reddit and like the first word I saw was Silly Goose, so. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna run with this, I think. This will work out pretty well. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna uh, be real with you guys. I haven't played Dark Souls in a while, so in I'm gonna be a little rusty. Oh. Of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, ash trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Whoa, it's getting came a little toasty from in here. The dark, they came. Oh, naked men. And oh. found the souls of lords within. Naked, the hungry men. Look at how skinny they are. Oh my goodness. 
need to need help. The first, the first of the dead. The wish of ashes. And it was waters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord yeah, of Sunlight. And his faithful eyes. I'm just waiting for the music to pick up. I want to hear it. Easily Where is it? With the strength of Lords, yeah! they challenged the dragons. Monster armor! Lightning bolt! Mighty bolts build upon their stone scales. Oh my goodness. The witches moved great firestorms. The witches burned California to the ground. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Oh, he's all icky. And the dragons were no more. I'm icky. I hope you don't tune in expecting to like watch serious gameplay and cool cutscenes. That's our timer. The age of fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. It's really hard to alt tap to check recordings playing this game too. So like, I just kind of have to hope Even that it's recording now, properly. There are only embers. There are only embers. And, man and man sees sees not light, light but, but only, only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen I'm pretty sure I know who that girl in that cutscene right there is. Of the accursed dark side. But I'm not entirely sure. I, I'm like not as well read on Dark Souls lore as some people. But I know a little bit. Just a bit. Just a little bit. A bit. Estus Flask, the undead treasure. Oh. So I, I was running uh, an item and enemy randomizer mod <laughs> previous to playing this. Yes, <laughs> so the dark sign brands, um, the hopefully I everything was actually uninstalled correctly. And ah, let me out of this door. The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Oh no. I hope that's not my fate. This is your fate. Oh shit, it's totally my fate. <laughs> oh, look at those gross bugs. We're all icky! Fucking like wicked ass blisters, man. Hello? Oh! I'm dead. Oh, I got you this body. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> oh. What a nice man. Alright, I don't want to give her a witch voice anymore. And that's the end of role playing in Dark Souls. Alright. You got the dungeon cell key. You that fucking siren? There's an ambulance going by my house. Watch out. All right. So, uh, DS Fix warns you that. Ooh. Look at that big boy. Um. So, DS Fix warns you like not to slide down ladders because you could get like collision errors. So, uh, we'll see. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's running in 60 FPS right now, um, and I can see the screen tearing. If it bothers you guys, you can let me know, and I can, uh, try to play it in 30 FPS to get rid of that screen tearing, but it's really up to you. But for right now... Bonfire lit. So, if you don't know anything about Dark Souls, um, you'll figure it out as we go. But basically, 
Uh, it's a really hard game where you run around and sometimes gigantic monsters fall from the sky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So yeah, that's how most of the boss fights in this game go. You just kind of run away. Okay. So these bonfires are made for sitting at, and whenever you sit at a bonfire, um, and you die, you will respawn it at said bonfire. Oh, don't hit me with your arrow. So we're just grabbing our stuff. We gotta get out of this little asylum. Because we don't want to be locked up here all day. We got stuff to do. Don't do it. You big stink. You big stink. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, Deprived is actually considered the worst class in the game just because of the stat allocations. Allocation? Allocation? Uh, just the way the snap points are laid out. Hey, look. You brought me a body. You. You're no hollow. I look pretty fucking hollow, dude. I'm done for, I'm afraid. You look alright. I slim, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? Should think, bro. I have failed in my mission. That's sad. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, Maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. You want me to ring bells? One more thing. Look at the way my Here, shield floats. Take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh! Orange juice. Oh, Undead Asylum, Floor 2, East Key. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. I think okay. I can handle a dead body, dude. Alright, bye. See you later. Oh, just kidding. He's actually fucking dead. Haha. -ha. I'll miss you. So now we head up here. You're the big stink that threw a boulder at me. Oh, fuck. We wait for him to finish his autistic fit, and then we hit him with a club. A great big stick him. I'm gonna run through here now. Oh my goodness. More pinkos. Pinko stinko. Quit swinging. Don't shoot me. Watch out! You big ugly motherfucker! You guys want to see if I can still parry? Yeah! I can still like kind of parry. Like the really easy, stupid hollows. I can still parry. All right, I can parry like the first three enemy types in this game, and then it just goes to shit. Now let's see if I make a fool of myself fighting the asylum demon. Probably. Oh! You must not swing! You're big and ugly, and I'm super cool. All right. Well, fuck that guy. Let's go through a big door. <laughs> okay. And that's the last time we make that joke. Um, I forget if there's useful items here or not. Probably. Or something. A soul of a lost and dead. Uh. Yeah, I think that's everything in the asylum. Bizarre. Only in the legends is it stated. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that a big fucking bird will come and grab you off a cliff. Un 
dead shall be Holy shit! To leave the, the undead, undead asylum in, in pilgrimage. To the, the land, land of, of the ancient, ancient lords. lords. Lordren. Very clever. The land of the lords, Lordren. Good job. Oh, that looks funky. <laughs> I really shouldn't have, like, bought uh, the remastered, but fuck it. We'll live with this. I need to save up money for Sikiro. 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 Uh, the Japanese Dark Souls. Which, even though Dark Souls is already Japanese. Hello. What's your name? Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Yeah, you that saw me get off the bird, idiot. The undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. I look pretty fucking but rotted, dude. Too late now. Done my time. Uh, well, since you're here, let me help you out. Appreciate it. Are actually, it's fucking ugly ass awakened. textures. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. What's that fucking mean? Off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I like big dingus. Oh, that's the crestfallen warrior. He's not that important unless it's your first playthrough. He gives you hints and whatnot. I'll probably fucking kill him later. Uh, ooh, big stinky firebombs. So originally I was thinking about ditching my weapon and shield to like make this a little more challenging, like in addition to picking Deprive because I've played this game a few times. Um, but I'm not sure if it'll get boring for you guys or me having to search for a weapon. But uh, eh, fuck it, let's do it. Well, I can't even anyway. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance. You have the same hair as me. But on a boy. Hello there. And also stupider. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I here no. Oh, go ahead. It's for you. I don't know what kind of build we're doing, like, now that I'm thinking about it. But, uh, yeah. I know that, like, we're probably not going to use the club and the plank shield for very long anyway. So, it's like, honestly, it wouldn't really matter if I, like, got rid of my weapons unless, like, I was doing a randomizer run. Because, like, I'll pretty immediately... Like, maybe sometimes, sometime eventually I'll do a randomizer run with random enemies and weapons, and then we can, like, discard all of our items at the start. But, I like, I'll just keep this to be, like, a kind of casual Dark Souls playthrough. I was, I'm, like, trying to think of a way to make it more interesting, but, like, what can I do this early anyway? Cracked red eye orb. Lloyd's talisman. Oh, down the cliff. All right, now we get the fuck out of Bone Town. This is not somewhere we need to be right now, guys. Oh, fuck. Here they come. Here come the skeletons. Um, now, if you're new, you'll go over there and get your ass handed to you by those skeletons. Um, because you don't know that you shouldn't be over there. And if you're a pro like me, you'll go over there and get your ass handed to you by skeletons. Because um, you want the stuff in the area. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we're going to do that for right now. Let's see what we need to equip that Morning Star. Oh, we can equip it already. What do you need for it? Just 11 strength? Alright, well, I think that might be better than the club. Maybe? 
No, the club is definitely actually way better. So like, like the deprived is kind of supposed to be like the dumb, like difficult, you don't have anything class, but like the club is actually a good weapon because of the way scaling in this game works. Um, uh, it, you get like different letter grades depending on it and you scale depending on the stat the weapon scales with and that multiplies your damage. And the club scales with an A, where is that morning star? Jesus, that fucking screen tear. Um, the Morning Star scales with a C, although the Morning Star also has bleed, which is good. So yeah, like again, if you guys want me, like if you would prefer watching this in 30 FPS without the screen tear, I'll I'll get used to playing it in 30 FPS eventually. But like definitely, it, it would be optimal to play at 60 FPS with the screen tear. But if it's like super distracting, I I get it and I'll switch it off. All right, time to move fast. Now I don't do any of that fucking like nutso uh, claw shit with the controller. So I've got to like actually move my hand and like press the B button with my pointer finger and use my uh, thumb at a weird angle to uh like looking around when I'm running. Grab that Zwei hander. I'm gonna get down here. Grab the looking glasses. Can your boy make it out? Oh! I don't like skeletons. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. <laughs> no good. We're fucking dead. The first of many deaths, to be sure. All right, but we got the stuff we wanted out of there. Not that like I even know any of it's gonna be useful. A 24 strength to wield his Y-hander. So if you don't have the requirements to wield something based on strength, you'll swing it really poorly and you'll bounce. If you don't have it, uh, the requirements with dex, you, what the fuck? Oh, I don't have enough strength for this either? Well, I was gonna show you that like, you'll still like do no damage, but you just won't like swing weird. Um, Lots of little things like that. Uh, there is one more place I wanna go in this first episode and that's down below. And I think I'll call the first episode here once we finish up the rest of this stuff at Firelink Shrine. But first things first, we want to go down here. And now I took the old witch's ring and it basically says it doesn't have a use, but that's Dark Souls, so it's a fucking lie. Uh, and you can actually take the thief key or the master key, whatever the hell's it's called and that allows you to like go a few places you're not supposed to go at the beginning of the game um but i'm just gonna play through the game like normally for people that haven't seen it uh because the key really just lets you like go to an area called blight town early and i think you can access like maybe the undead berg or like the lower undead berg early i'm not really sure everywhere you can go with the key but it's not super important like, it, it mostly just opens up areas earlier. And this is the new Londo Ruins. Um, and there's spooky ghosts here. And they have stretchy arms with knives. We're going to avoid them. We come over here. And there's a funny little boy. I can't hit these ghosts. And I believe you either have to be cursed. Oh, it's not knock me off. You, I think you have to be cursed to hit them, or you use, like, a specific item, and you can hit them. But you'll notice that I got something called a Firekeeper Soul, and uh, I didn't explain it earlier, but these little things that I'm drinking, the Estus Flasks, they're basically, like, your only means of healing besides using Humanity, which is another system I haven't explained. Let's be a fucking dick real quick. Um... But uh, the Estus, I can use that soul I just got to upgrade how much my Estus Flask kills me, which is nice to have. I mean, I don't need it being a professional Dark Souls player and all, but, you know, it's nice to have. Um, 
So let's see. I'm gonna come down here. Talk to this funny boy real quick. Well, this is on you. You haven't lost your head. I have not. More importantly, you're free. Ooh. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. I'm Ricky Vinay. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. No, I sit in a fucking hole and looking at a it. piece of paper. Paper? Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. What the fuck are you talking about? You got something against hollows, asshole? To occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I have a stick, I'll show dude. You what made me the best <laughs> You gonna make my stick better? So, uh, at blacksmiths, you can reinforce your weapons to make them do more damage and shit like that. Uh, and also repair things, which is useful. So, souls, uh, let you level up and also act as currency in the game. There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed. I'm dead. But, what's there really to moan about? Uh, I don't know. The other hollows are moaning plenty. Goodbye, then. Keep your head on it. You really help break the monotony. Thank you. I've had a few people tell me that I'm entertaining. I don't get it. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But he seems to agree. Alright, uh... So we're gonna go up here. Um, god. And I just cannot finish a thought for the life of me. I always do this at the beginning of games because there's so much to talk about. But, like I said before, I don't have a class established for what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna kinda run with it. Um, since we started as Deprived, we haven't specialized in anything, really. So we could theoretically do whatever we wanted with this class. Um, so I think I might leave it up to you guys, uh, for those of you that have played Dark Souls, or those of you that haven't played Dark Souls, if you have any input on what you'd like to see. I mean, I could do, like, gigantic strength weapons, I could go for a dex build, uh, magic, pyromancy, miracles, whatever you think would be cool. So we can talk to this chick, and she actually has the same hair as me. And here we can use that firekeeper soul that I got down in the water place to reinforce my Estus flask. No response. She cannot speak. Mm. I don't know why everybody is in a hole in this game behind bars. But so to explain humanity, basically, uh, you remember earlier we've been picking up these little black things called humanity, and uh, I can use one of these. And this adds to something called... Okay, so those items you use are called hard humanity because they never disappear until you use them or sell them or anything like that. If you'll notice at the top left now, next to my health, the red bar, and my stamina, the green bar, um, I now have something called soft humanity, which is something you can pick up from killing certain enemies and uh, invaders and things like that. All right, I think you get... It doesn't matter. That's the, like you get it from doing certain things. And you can use that soft humanity to come and reverse your hollowing. And it basically just moisturizes your skin with a little bit of lotion, and you're no longer jerky and gross. <clears throat> so now, uh, I forget exactly what being human does. I know in the other games, it boosts your health, I'm pretty sure. Like in Dark Souls 3, you ember and you get more health back. And in Dark Souls 2, every time you die, you lose more health until you reverse hollowing. Um, but yeah, uh, so basically... Now we're human. I think in this game it gives us more resistance, so like slightly more defense and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought. Let me know uh, any ideas you have on builds. And uh, until next time, take it easy and I'll catch you guys around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.